Okay. Was it Keely Dan? No, no. Just no. I'll take back everything you said about stealing Dan if this other thing will go away. So it looks like Hillside Cemetery. In it's Sky North Atul. Well, yeah. But the cool part is it's supposedly there's a witch's grave there. Patrolled by de demons? It's, yes. Hillside Cemetery was built in the late 1800s and there was a woman that's rumored to be buried there that was a witch and demons guard her grave. Now, it's also believed that if you disturb the demons, they don't like that. How do you disturb a demon? Such a long way to go. Such a long way to go. To make it to the border of Mexico. So I'll ride like the wind. Ride like the wind. And the only thing I'm scared of right now is heat stroke. Well, I mean, um, from a esoteric standpoint, ghosts have a harder time of manifesting themselves because right. the sun washes the earth clean. Right. So from an esoteric standpoint, it being at night, it being more likely at night, makes perfect sense. Right. Ah. It's got a big spider on it. Does it have a name? No. Put that down. Dude, why is it out here? So, um, I think it's Abel awesome. G. Park Hill. Yeah, that's the husband. Yeah, but it also says Abel G. Park Hill, it appears to say B. Can or I Barnett. bring him back again? I shall go to him. Okay, so whether the witch is here or not, the witch is supposed to haunt the grave of her husband. So, this is where we're setting up camp. I don't know, I'll just put my foot on it, on the grave. So basically what I'm doing, it's dusk, of the witch's husband that she protects vigorously with a team of demon enforcers. This here grave. I'm gonna stand up and put my foot on the grave. The grave of the husband of the witch that reportedly, supposedly, tried to dig up her husband multiple times and cast spells to resurrect him. So, this is gonna anger some demons. I'm gonna sit here and see if I can hear, feel. Look, I'm the sensitive one of me and Harley. I'm the most sensitive to this kind of stuff, even though he saw old man Withers. A man that was there one second and gone the next. Twice. The old man up behind the car. So uh, you guys might be in trouble. Just saying. So being raised Catholic, not sure how I feel about all this right now. You know, we were always raised to be scared of demons and scared of ghosts and things that, um, that are not of this world. I'm not scared, just uh, interested. If I saw a Bigfoot, I'd probably be scared. I'd be more interested in anything else. <laughs> Extreme interest. But if I see a ghost, it's over because I just, I can't handle it. I hate it, I don't like it. So general feelings, I don't feel weird, I guess. Not really. I do feel like disrespectful leaning on this. So having to stand down here in the middle of this graveyard in the dusk and the noises and the heat, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm shiny. I'm soaked, soaked to the bone. It's been a long day. It is uh, awful hot. 
course, I forgot my voice recorder, so I can't record any voice. I'm recording directly on the grave. See if we get any errant EVPs or anything like that. Is there anybody with me right now? That's a crazy question. Why would I ask that? So far, I got nothing. I got no, you know, this is like a ballroom full of ghosts. No weird feelings. So, I'm just gonna hang out here, see what happens. We'll just see. He's wily. I heard a woman's voice coming from that direction over there. Find it. I call his phone. Can I bring him back again? So I call his phone. And I hang up. And I shall go to him. Yeah, what's the name of the song? The name of the song that came up just ran. I don't use Samsung music. It's the name of the song is It Brings Me Back to You. I shall go to him. Brings me back. Doesn't that say, Can I bring him back? Yeah, it says, Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him. Dude. That is the creepiest. <laughs> so the So the tombstone says, can I bring him back again? And the music that starts playing on my phone randomly, the song is called It Brings Me Back to You. Okay. This is some creepy, it's, creepy it's stuff. Creepy. <laughs> I'm over it. Images there, and then we did a little bit for we did a little more digging, and apparently there's a whole big conspiracy about Oral Roberts and the people who run the university and uh, the, the overall organization. There's talks of like satanic rituals and people being sacrificed. Oral Roberts drinking blood. Right. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. <laughs> so um, we kind of feel like Oral Roberts it's is a show. It's a full show. Like that. That. It uh, it's. It's definitely a lot deeper than we thought when we first looked at it. Right. Okay, so <laughs> the coup de gras. The coup de gras, and we're not talking about the fact that I had some bowel issues this weekend. So, our last stop, we decide, okay, we're about to Okay, do uh, right off the bat, I have the heebie jeebies. What's happening right now? Are you kidding me? What? That song is playing. I'm kidding. No. Stop it. Dude! The the it. <laughs> I swear what to God! I swear to God! Video. Okay! What is happening? I have got no. it on video. No! No! With the still. Son that is Amy, are you there? Amy! Hello. Good God in heaven, help us all! Get us to home. Get us home in one piece. Please get us home in one piece. Jesus Christ. No. no. Oh my God. Are you there? Yes. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh my God. My kid. Okay. You're so, just sitting there. Okay. So as I was saying. Even talking about what oh happened my God. next, son of a, gives me the heebie-jeebies, and no sh The phone hung up and started playing a creepy ass song that played earlier in the night. So let's get let's to the start story. Over. Just Go start to the story. Over.